Hi everyone, it's Veronica and in this first PowerPoint tip I wanted to show you how you can merge shapes in PowerPoint. I think PowerPoint is great for quick graphics. You can make really customized um, solutions in there. So um, without further ado, I'll show you how you can do that. So I've got a few shapes here on the screen. I've got uh, basically a rectangle with a yellow circle over the top and they're all the same but there are five tools that I'd like to show you today. Combine union, fragment, intersect and subtract. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to go up to my e-learning tab which is a custom tab and I can show you how to do that later as well in case you're unfamiliar with PowerPoint. But basically I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to select the rectangle. The rectangle has a number one on it simply because I'm selecting it first and then I'm going to hold down my control key and select the circle. So with both shapes selected I can now hit my combine key and merge those shapes. And this is the result when you use the combine tool. Now let's see what different results we can achieve with the other tools. So selecting again the rectangle first and the circle second, I'm going to do union and that basically makes one nice unionized shape, if that's even a word. And the next one is fragment, so select again the rectangle first, circle second and fragment. So that's actually cut it into the three shapes that were intersected. This one is intersect, so we'll see what happens then. Did I select right? Yeah, the rectangle first and the circle second and do intersect. So that's what's going to happen there and you can probably guess what's going to happen with subtract. Selecting the rectangle first and subtract. So you can see just from that simple example that y we've created a whole bunch of different shapes that you can't really get from your shapes menu in PowerPoint. Now I'll just show you, I've got the same shapes again down here but this time I've got the circle labeled as number one so I'm going to select the circle first this time and then I'm going to select the rectangle and we'll try it again and see what the difference is. So combine, so that'll just uh, basically use the properties of the first shape selected, in this case the difference in color, to, to do the combination. Let's try all the others. Union, there you go, and fragment, selecting the circle first every time. Fragment, intersect, we'll select the circle first, square next, or rectangle rather. And subtract might have a slightly different result than just a color change. Ah, there we go. So because it's subtracting in the first case it subtracted the circle from the rectangle but in this case it subtracted the rectangle from the circle. So you can achieve a lot different results depending on who or what shape you're selecting. One first. of the tools I use quite a bit is the union tool and I use that to create custom callouts or speech bubbles. So I like to choose say a, a different shape like this one and I'll just create my shape and rotate it around and basically just make it look how I want my, my call out to be. So let's say we've got that and then what I need is a little call out tail. So I'm going to insert a triangle and again play around with it until you're happy so I won't take too much time doing this. So I'm going to put it there and um, I actually want my my call out to be uh, not, not filled in with color so I'm going to select both shapes and I'm going to remove the fill I'll change the shape outline to green because it's a bit nicer. And then all I'll do is select them both, go to my combine, sorry, my union tool, and voila, you've got a different kind of call out. Um, play around with it and see how it works. This one looks a bit funny because it's got that little edge there. But um, generally, if you spend more than just 30 seconds on it, you can achieve a nice result. And of course, you can just put text in there like you would in any shape. This text is rotated because I actually rotated the shape, but you can fix that up by selecting the correct rotation, or you can just put a text box over the top of it and do any number of things. And this shape, this union shape that we now have from two other shapes is basically like any other shape, so you can still use the quick styles, you can format it in any way that you would any regular shape, so it's really, really handy. So I hope that helps. 
And lastly, I just wanted to show you how I created this e-learning tab at the top. This is a custom tab and at the moment I only have five tools in there, but if you basically go to File, you can create any custom tab that you like by going down to Options in PowerPoint. And you can do this in earlier versions of PowerPoint. I'm on 2016, but you can do it in older versions as well. On the side here you will select Customize Ribbon and on this side you've got basically all your main tabs and you can actually remove them from view if you want to if you think I never use the you know design tab so you can just remove it um, and this is my my tab that I created you can say you can tell there that it says custom so all you need to do to create a new tab up in your ribbon is to basically just hit the button new tab and then within the tab you can create groups of tools by selecting new group I've got my Merge Shapes group there with all my tools and how I got these tools in there is simply by selecting them from this list. Now when you open the options by default you'll see the popular commands which is basically this list. It's got all your typical paste and copy and all those ones that we all use. But if you select all commands from the drop down menu it will show you every single command available in PowerPoint which seems like an infinite number. So you can just scroll down and find the ones that you want to put into your group. There's my combine tool and I can't add it right now because I've already got it in there but if I click somewhere else it'll let me add it. So there you go you can add any number of tools and customize your tabs like that. These merge shape tools won't be in your default tabs so you'll have to add them to the ribbon or you can also add them to the quick access toolbar down here which you can see that I've got them there as well because I use them quite a bit. I hope this helps. See ya!